Hi, hello, welcome. Welcome back. My name is Emerald and we're playing some House Flipper 2 again. We're finishing this bad boy up. Uh, we are almost finished. It took us quite a while. I think we have all in all like seven hours into this build right now. So quick tour if this is your first video watching or if you have forgotten what it looks like. Um, oh, never mind that. Let me fix that real quick. Oi. Can you just please? Thank you. So we have been building this Victorian house, um, going for a bit of a dark academia style. So everything is a bit dark uh, intentionally. Is there a wall here? It's a wall right here. Hang on. We need to fix that. Okay, sorry, got distracted. Not the first time I get distracted. We are here in our hallway looking very fine i think this is my favorite room even though it's just the hallway i really like how this turned out and we have our little dining area right here connected to the kitchen just a small modest little kitchen right here the little cupboard and uh, oh of course we have the toilet right here and we go into the living area, which is quite small, but it's just enough to be cozy, to sit by the fire, to read a book, something like that. And we go upstairs and then we have here a little nursery. Looking quite cute with uh, our attempt at a wall mural. We actually did that by um, enlarging a painting to be the size of the wall. That's the reason that it is a little shiny because it has glass in front of it, but we're going to act like that's not the case. We don't see that. Don't tell anyone. We have our little bathroom here. Quite like this one as well. Quite simple, but nice looking. Then we have uh, our hallway, which we're going to tackle uh, lastly. Then we have the bedroom. This is also quite cute. Once again, pretty small actually, uh, but just well enough. It's, it's cute. It's um, it's nice to have your sleep in. And then we have our walk-in closet, which just has a wardrobe and a dresser. And I just realized that there is a um, <laughs> hidden room, basically. So we're going to have to fix that. I didn't realize that while I was building. Uh, but apparently it is like that. Um, also, oh, how are you going to fix that? I think we need to turn this around. Um, let's put you right here for now. Uh, I think we need to put our dresser, uh, sorry, our wardrobe on that side because that has no window. Uh, how can we move over this coach? We'll have to put it on another hook. And we'll change everything up. Um, let me quickly put in an extra floor. I realise this is probably because of the double ceiling that I made. Um, which I didn't extend all the way back to this room, apparently. I'll put this dresser here. We'll turn around the wardrobe. Put that out of the way. And then we'll just... See if this is closed off. It is, fortunately. We'll just um, get all of this painted. It is a little bit weird, I must admit. That painted. And then we'll paint right like there. There we go. We're going to need to um, copy. No, we're going to need to change the style to have no windowsill right there. We'll put some paint right here. 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 And here. There we go. We'll just copy the floorboards. And all right. We've fixed that mostly. Um, I don't want to snap to grid, actually. So I want it to be centered. There we go. Now we can't really place it right there, apparently. You would say that this is the same width. So why is it struggling? Oh, because it's actually... Okay. Well, um, it is actually, uh... 
Oh, change orientation. Oh, I can lie it down. Okay, perfect. So that's good. Now we still need to um, figure out what to do with this little shelf that we used for hats. We don't have any hats to actually put on it. That is what we imagine there to be. That's what we imagine it to be for. You right there, so we can put you right there. Okay, we fixed this. So we had a little bit of a hiccup starting this out. Um, but that is our little walk-in closet. So all that's left is the attic. So we have this hallway that goes up to the attic. Then we have the rest of this attic, the uh, hallway, the upper part of it. And then we have this little room, and I'm thinking of turning this into a playroom. And we have this little room, thinking about making this uh, a study. And we have this room, and I'm thinking about making this into a guest bedroom or a child's bedroom with a little ensuite bedroom. As you can see, it's all very, very small. Um, so we don't have a lot of room to work with, quite literally. But it will be a fun challenge. So let's go ahead and figure out what we'll do here. I think it would be fun um, if we were to copy um, this wood of the roof all along. Yes, it's quite dark, uh, but that's also sort of the point. You know, oh, oh. Uh oh, I broke the doors. Oh, I fixed them somehow. Uh, but it's also sort of the point of this build. You know, it is a dark Victorian home. So let's see if it is any good if we change this as well. There is a bit of a ridge here. So we do have some room to change the uh, surface finish of this little hallway. It's quite a spooky corridor this way, I have to say. There we go. If we paint this all up. I mean, it's a vibe. It's a dark vibe. But it is a vibe. What kind of... Um, we can copy this wood plank. Put that in. Copy that onto the stairs and let's put this in and I think I would want something of a feature here because it is a different sort of ridge um, but what though I did something very fun right here which I'm quite proud of but I don't think that'll work for this one um, we also need to figure out what kind of um well we can try it we can try to uh Mimic what we had going on in the main hallway. Right, put it like that. And let's see if that looks any good. Uh, it looks a bit ridiculous, so we're not doing that. We are, however, going to um, change this a little bit. And we'll copy... This style, paste it onto this staircase. We are going to uh, remove the stair railing. There we go, because we are, you know, we have walls right here. We don't need it. Uh, but that is looking quite good. I do like the continuation of this little carpet right here. And um, even though this doesn't quite work, we can still copy that carpet to go round the bend here. There we go. That's still looking quite fun. Let's put this in the doorways. We'll need to change these up in a different direction. So we'll pick them up. Turn them around. Oh, we're not allowed to. Why not? Is there a problem if I... Nope, it was just a dresser that was in the way. Alright, that's fine then. 
Okay, we'll copy the style of the other drawers, keep them consistent with everything. Change all of this black. We need to add some more walls to it. Um, we'll be limited by roof. Take it out and then it should, yes, perfect. It should not be going through the roof. And we'll drag all of this out. Oops. Did we paint all of it? No, not all of it. God, that's a really dark hallway. Okay, what are we going to do here? I don't think we go with another black. I do really think maybe we could make a wood beam off it and um, make it like a bit of a different colored wood beam. To add some detail, I'm going to copy. Oh, that that's black. That's not going to help us anything. Mm. This is black too. Of course, we can easily change it. But I was hoping that there was already a wood that I'd used that I could easily color pick. But we can do this, and we'll need to change the orientation of a couple of these. So the rotation will be different. Uh, did that work? Okay, now it worked. Will this work? It will. Perfect. And now we have a wood beam. We have a bit of a contrast here. Um, we also need to paint this. Let's go with just the same. Have this be completely wooden. It's like... It's constructed that way. And of course, even though it's fun that it's so um, extremely dark, we do need a bit of light here, right? So we'll put two lights in. Uh, one downstairs and one upstairs. And we'll each give them two light switches. Um, one upstairs and one downstairs. We can put a functional one here, uh, like a practical one. Okay, we can't put that one in there. Let's go with a wall lamp. Um, we'll take this one. Uh, but I do want a ceiling lamp and I kind of wanted to use this one. Right, and then we go to light switches. This one will paint it black. Uh, well, actually dark gray match well almost all of the light switches in the house some are actually black but others aren't we'll have this one go over there and we'll have that one go over there right that turns that light on that turns the upper light on and then we'll copy that once the bottom light so we'll have that um we're going to rearrange them a little a little bit differently where we'll rearrange them on top of each other because we have limited space here and also it makes a bit of sense like which one do i press oh the top one is for the top light and the bottom one is for the bottom light so that's the only way to connect two um light switches to one light you can't do it with your uh with your edit wiring tool you have to copy it and then it will remember what it's copied uh, from not much else we can put in the hallway here uh it's just gonna be a hallway just like that now our um yeah our, our playroom we do need to fix this up a little bit and we'll need to transform it we left this sort of like ah that's a problem for another day uh which obviously is now <laughs> So glad I gave myself that problem. Uh, let's see if we can... Yep, that's perfect, actually. One up, two up. And that's a lot better looking. Good, okay. So the roof, we can't change that color because it will change it for everything. Uh, luckily, we're going for a bit of a spooky vibe, so 
let's um, extend that to the window but to bring some color in uh, we will color the rest of the room something a bit brighter just a little bit brighter so this is a playroom so i want to see if we can do something fun and floral um there's plenty of floral patterns but let's see which one is most most suited for this room i think this is quite nice uh this one's also very cute uh, but this one was also very interesting. But maybe we'll leave that for the um, either the study or the guest bedroom. I'll go with this one. So they're going to be blue regardless, the um, flowers. We can put them on a different backdrop. I like the contrast of a reddish hue, though... They are just the wrong colors, really. <laughs> um, I would have loved if that ochre worked, but you, it, it's a bit sore on the eyes if you look at the blue flowers. So let's see if we can have another one that it would work with. Yeah, I don't think this will work. I don't think that's a good match, but let's put it on. No, that's no good. That's not going to uh, be good at all. We'll try this again. Uh, it's now chosen ochre as the um, color for the uh, stripes. I saw this muted dark green really dark green really muted because it's basically black it's not working either we go with a dark blue it's a sort of bounce of blue if we choose this one and it's fine we can we can totally use blue that's not a problem i was just looking for more interesting colors a bit of lavender would be nice to have I do think we have to go for a little bit more muted. So that would be the choice of colour. Right, we put that right. Where are we going? Put that right there. And I think I'll drag it onto here. Another bit of an accent. And let's decide on our flooring. So yes, we could go once again for this one. I think I'll do an actual brown colour. So which one was this? That's just the ebony. All right. I think we might need to go for a stained wood. Let's see which grain we like most. I do like the elm. Let's not go for green. Let's go for this soft brown. See that in action. I quite like that actually. It gives it a much softer vibe. Um, I do want to change this to have no shutters, which apparently means we need to paint this, but that's all right. And do that. Yeah, it's a lot better actually like that okay and now we just need to fill the room with some furniture not a lot of furniture mind you we don't have that much room um oh first of all i want to put in some molding before i forget and that is a sandbox item let's go with um that stained elm see if we can match that color really don't remember which one we picked honestly no it's too bright oh no actually i think it might be the one we picked 
Let's see if we can get all up in there. Put the molding down. It looks the same. We can't really put molding on the ceiling because that will get all awkward. So we're not going to pain ourselves with that. Um, so we got some molding in. Perfect. And now we put in some toys, some hobbies, toys. There we go. We can put in a dollhouse. Very important. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I anticipated. We'll just plop some things down, see sort of the scale of it and see. Oh, there was a dresser that I'd been putting away because I liked it, but I replaced it with a piano in the hallway. I think this might be the time to put the dresser down. All right, that's perfect. You can put all kinds of toys in there and on there. Um, I would like to put this toy car on there as well as this, no, this toy plane. Right. And we can put all the rest of it is a bit too big, I think, to put on there. But we can fit this, even though you can't really see it. But this little play thing right there. Some loose blocks. There we go. Make it feel a little bit lived in, like it's been used and it's been put away, but you can't, you're not, if you have a baby or a toddler or whatever, you're not going to put them all away very neatly all the time. Put a little um, ride on toys, what they're calling it, sure thing. Put that there, that's looking really cute. Um, now, I do think we need a bit of a seat, even though we have no room. At all. Let's see if we can fit something in. Yeah, it's not not working there. A, a bit of a chair then. Mm -hmm. Ottoman. We can work with an ottoman. All right. Uh, let's actually change the style of that. We can put a cute floral pattern on it give that a nice color that works quite well and that is essentially our bay room already done except for some lights i'm gonna try and put in a ceiling light but it's probably not gonna work yeah that's not gonna work at all well we have plenty of room to put a wall lamp right here and actually I think we might have some room to put some art well if I put it here it might not illuminate the room all too well <clears throat> let's try it out actually uh, you would come in here this would be the place where you would easily access the light it illuminates quite well actually you can also put a little standing light Right here, a little table lamp. Then you have plenty of light, and then we can hang a nice little painting there. So let's see what we got. Let's go with this one, change the style, and find a nice picture for it. Um, so we are quite limited in what we can choose both style-wise and because these are just the pictures that are available. Once again, we could put in our custom pictures, but we're not going to. We don't have them readily available and, you know, I don't think it's interesting enough to go out and search for custom pictures to put in. Um, I try to play most games as vanilla as I can. I like the challenge of using the assets that are given to us. And there are quite a lot of assets, let's be real. There's so many things we can do. Though painting-wise, considering the style we chose for this house, it's just a little bit limited. And I think we have to repeat something. We took these pictures downstairs. We added those to the nursery. But we'll just um, add that too. 
Now, usually I don't mind the gold, but it's a bit in your face right now. So let's turn it to bronze. Let's see if we can get a good view of the room by phasing through the walls. That is our playroom already done. That went quite quick, I must say. Um, let's figure out the study. Okay, um, study. So I do think I want to add a sewing machine here. Um, so we might, I don't know if there are things like mannequins. No, doll. Doll house, no. Uh, let's figure out the hobbies, sports, art and music. See, this one's fun to, to add to it. Um, but there are no other sewing thingies. There's not a mannequin available to put there. But that's fine. Um, that's sort of what I want to go for. And that might influence how I would like to decorate this room. So, sewing. I think we'll go with a half-panelled wall again. With, once again, something floral. I do want to rotate it vertically and I want to see, I like that cream that I saw somewhere. This one that I like. I like this shade, but it's just a little bit too dark. That's unfortunate. I think this one's a little bit too bright. Uh, well, this is quite good. I know it's terribly old fashioned, but we are working with a Victorian house. so. Bear with me. I painted that, but I'm going to overlap it with the panels. But sure thing. Um, let's put that down there. Oh, it's quite busy, isn't it? Ah, it's quite busy. There's also no windows right here. Uh, do we need to add a window for some sunlight? We probably need to add a window, don't we? So we're going to... Um, the wall in. Don't know exactly how it's limited by roof. Uh, let's put that out and go inward. Right, and we'll try to draw a um, roof on top of that. Oh, that didn't work quite like I wanted it to. I don't know if I did anything with the pitch of it. But we can copy the style. Don't think I'll take pitch into account, honestly. A style does absolutely nothing. Okay, we just need to copy that. Put that on there. Right, and it did have a bit of an overhang. Did it have it on both sides? No, just... Oh, it doesn't have any overhang. Okay, but we can definitely copy that window. I think we don't even need to um, adjust it all that much. Well, <laughs> we maybe do need to adjust it a little bit. Okay, we'll put it up one. That's resize. Uh, this one doesn't need to be as small as the other windows out front. Right, we can put it like that. Um, we need to say, we need to edit that. It's the move tool, we need the resize tool. It looks a little bit awkward. You need to put it like that. That's perfect. All right. So we copy that style onto there. Of course, we need to match it with the outside as well. Right, like so. And we need to put in those diagonals, which are admittedly a bit of a pain to put in. The results are stunning. And we can... Very easily adjust everything as needed. 
think it's like this. Let's get the move tool in and bring it upside down is the wrong axis once again. I keep thinking, oh, it has to be this axis, but it's really not. <laughs> hey, that's good. That is the right size as well. So we're going to copy that. And we'll rotate that. Do we need to put it like that? Yeah, that's the axis. Why I keep struggling with that? Do you need to take it in one? And perhaps we could resize it so it doesn't jut out like that. So flip. That's still the right angle. It's a good angle, actually. No, um. um Oh, that's not having the expected result. But these are the same size now. We might just bar in, but that does remove some of the um, view. So that's not the solution. Well, perhaps if we just copy, it does glitch a little bit. How do we do it with the other one? It just even smaller. Uh, but then it doesn't have the right angle. I think we just have to deal with the clipping. I think that's really the only way we can do this. How do we do it in the other room? It just doesn't clip, but it's clearly through the roof. This one's just being bad about it. Maybe if we try it again. Maybe if we just place it again, it'll be like, ah, oh, sorry, I made a fuss. I really shouldn't have made a fuss. I'm deeply sorry about the troubles you had. Well, <laughs> it's not saying sorry to us. Um, <clears throat> so, never mind that. Let's just continue on with our little, um, our little study. Um, we wanted some paneling. Will we go with the same old paneling? Uh, this is black, but paneling is quite, um, not muted, but a little bit easier on the eye. That black. Because it's actually slightly grey. So I think that would be a good choice for this. Oop, that's a little higher than I wanted. And that's a little lower than I wanted. Right, let's put you right there. That seems good. Fix that orientation. There we go. All right, now we need to put in that beautiful, beautiful um, yes, like that. Molding. Right, it is a little higher than on the other rooms and I'm thinking, is that, is it too high? But honestly, it does give a bit of um. It does make it a little bit easier on the eyes because it is a very busy wallpaper and although it absolutely fits the style of the house, I do think we should make a bit of sacrifice um, on that. Uh, now I do think it's fun to put in some actual panels as well, just like we did in the dining room. But let's go ahead and do that. That takes a bit of, um, bit of hand work. So that would be like that. We would have a panel here. So that's about four. Let's see how we get on if we put four wide panel on it. Um, do we need two spaces? No, we don't. We can have one space, I believe. Well, that fits pretty all right. We can put it a little bit through the 
wool here. Oh, we need to resize that a little bit. Oi. Okay, there we go. Another ore in. And we'll just drag that until it disappears. Okay. We put some down. Right, and then we resize them and we put them in the proper place. Okay, let's transform you actually. First of all, we need to turn these around. If we do get a little bit lower, we might decide to put them higher up. Let's try it out actually, see which looks better. Because they'll connect, that's why the orientation... Well, they won't actually connect. Uh, but they'll be matched in terms of uh, the corners. Hmm. Sure, I'm a fan, actually. Put you down, let's rotate you. The correct orientation. I do think they need to be lower. Uh, I don't know yet. I have to see it in action. Properly in action. Still undecided, although I am leaning towards... Well, actually... Hmm. Yeah, actually, I do think it needs to be shorter. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it actually is better against my own expectations. Do it like that. Let's uh, quickly sell these. Not that we're getting any money from it. We can just copy this a bunch of times. So these need to. That one needs to. This one needs to. That needs two, that needs two, and this one only needs one. All right, let's turn you around. Put you up against the wall. And pull you up. Right, I forgot that I um didn't actually yet turn these around. Let's quickly do that before I get confused. Right. Um, and then we need to turn this the one way. And we'll be able to turn that the other way. Pull you back. There we go. And we'll put that back. Put that against the wall. There we go. And now these ones. Ah, right. They also needed to be rotated. What about that? I put them in the wrong way. And pull you up. There we go. And we'll turn you around. Wait, come on. Now we... Rotate you, put you up against the wall. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, whoop. we're not done. Don't be too quick. Don't be too hasty. Go. Now we're done. All right, that's looking good. Let's copy this style. Put him on. Let it become a little bit invisible, but if I put on my flashlight, you'll see the um, texture, the relief of it. 
it is a nice little detail. Even though it is just a detail, I quite like it. Now, I'm thinking about putting that same soft brown um, floor in as in the playroom, though I don't know if it will clash too much. So let's try it out. Because if it doesn't, it gives it another bit of softness to the room and lightness. Well, that doesn't clash too much, actually. I quite like that. So we have a window with some lights. And we'll put in our desk. I think we might be able to put two desks in. One for writing and one for sewing. Let's take out the table and let's check out our desks. This could be a... Oh, handles are a bit weird. Oh, I thought it would look more classical than it does. Um... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go with a real classical thing. Or we could do this, which fits quite nicely in this space. Wait. There we go. And if we change the handles to something more suitable. Where are the rings? I love the rings. Rings, where have you gone? Ten. Ten strings. Uh, maybe go with... Brazilian walnut. Actually looks quite nice on this. Now we do need to um, make the rings a bit of a contrasting colour. Because this way they're really invisible. Alright, we can do this. Now you can do both writing and sewing on the same spot. I, I'm not sure if this would fit. Um, like if it would suit it. You might just need a simple chair. And I'm quite liking this one. Just a simple, simple chair. Quite a good match actually. Let's go into hobbies, art and music, see what kind of styles they have. Um, looking at my, uh, my own sewing machine that I have here. Damaged plastic, black iron. I have um, an old iron singer with beautiful... Um, ornaments on it. I think I can't put a pattern on it. So I think going with one of these standard styles is actually just fine, especially because the blue kind of fits into the wallpaper as well. Um, so let's put some more details in there. Art and music, sewing pins, right, put some scissors right there, some needle and thread, couple of bundles there and we'll do some different colours. And we'll put some yellow in there. That. We have a couple of different things. Now that's really all that we can put in here accessory wise. We can of course still put some books down. It's a row of a couple of books. I'll change the colour slightly of these. And no, that's not like that one. Let's go with a burgundy and a dark blue. Maybe a bit darker, not necessarily darker, but more muted. Can't actually go any darker. All right, we've got that. We absolutely need a desk lamp. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. Maybe we can put... Do we have a notebook? I would love to have an open notebook. But this will have to work. Maybe we can put a pen in. A fountain pen. Perfect. 
that is looking very, very cute. Let's once again look for some um, some paintings. And we're going to put in that same painting that we put in the, uh, um, in the hallway, probably, with the gentleman. But we could also try the boy. Boy is a little bit big, I must admit. So let's try and resize it. Doesn't allow us. That's a shame. And we can't change the size of this one specifically. Uh, that's difficult to choose then. It really doesn't look good. I'll just put the old man in again. And we can absolutely pick another painting. We'll try the boy then. We'll do a tiny... That's not a tiny portrait. I don't know who told me that. That's not tiny. Shrink it down. Thank you. Still not tiny. Still really not tiny. <laughs> Put another one in and we'll do the um already use this one. Put that one in, make it smaller. Do a bit of a gallery wall. Trying to sort of look what could conceivably fit in this style. work with this ah that seems all right now we absolutely need some wall lamps it's not going to be a surprise which one i'm taking well although we could use this one quite good as well even though they're still very slim pickings I'm very confident that that will change over a couple of updates. So let's uh, put a switch in. It opens this way, so you'll want your switch right here. And we'll edit the wiring and we'll do both of them next to that. That does light it beautifully. Now, I do think we need a bit of greenery here as well. So, let's see. Oh, it's so big. We do need to give it a bit of a different style, I think. We could go with wicker. I don't mind wicker. And put a plant in, obviously. quite a nice plant for that but this does feel really really empty but what on earth did you put there like chairs are all well and good but will you put a chair on every empty space why would you have a like a this random chair in your study just someone watching you so well maybe if we put it if we make it a little bit less awkward Put a nightstand there with maybe some more books. This is a great little nightstand. And put maybe if it fits another table lamp on there. That's if we ah, oh, that's too big. Everything's so big. That one's a bit a little bit too modern, honestly. This one wasn't too big, was it? one was pretty good if we put another book right there you're watching you're watching you're reading this book she reading a smaller book this can't fit that this looks like a pride and prejudice sort of book perfect for in this room or in this house that's actually already a lot better oh we can do a little rug Actually, to fill the space some more. Uh, definitely a little rug. 
do need to give it a turn, though. Well, yes, that's a little rug, but it's maybe a little bit too little. Maybe we want a muted pink. Oh, how well I orient it, like sort of casual like that. We'll put it straight, but then this corner isn't straight. We'll put it right here and then we chair. Let's let it follow actually the direction chair. I'm content with that. I don't think there's very many things we could add to this, honestly. Like this is sort of it. What more do you even need in a study, right? We'll put a waste basket here. Just a general basket. Um bin. Fresh bin. Good, let's give you a different colour though. Not very black iron, perfect. Yeah. Is that it? Do we add another plant to it? This good old pot is quite good for plants. We can only fit a small-ish plant right here because of the roof. These are going to be too big, right? Oh no, actually. Fit quite nicely. We can do this. It's nice. Oh, if you're wondering about this edge, this is something we have to live with. It has to do with the way that we constructed our roofs and we chose to do it on the side so it's not as bothering from the front. Um, but yeah, we're sort of forced to do it this way. So I'm afraid I can't really help this. I'll prevent this. Well, I could prevent it by doing an entirely different design, but look at this roof. I mean, I couldn't have done a different design, right? I couldn't have. This looks awesome um let's remove the shutters I haven't gone to that room yet and i saw this this needs to be painted and then that is all settled okay i'm gonna get declare this room absolutely finished we got two more rooms very exciting we're almost done I do remember that I couldn't really change this window um, with the, um, what's it called? Let's try it anyway, but with the angle of this, because it was a weird angle, but we can put it up like that. That's actually not too bad. There's not much more that we could change about that. I've been fiddling around in the first episode with that quite a lot already. So let's start off by copying that style onto that door. And this will be a second bedroom, a guest bedroom, a kid's bedroom, whatever. So let's see what kind of pattern do you want for the kid's bedroom. Um, oh, there was the damask one, that wallpaper that I was saving for this room. I think that could be quite nice. We could go with a dark blue and a soft blue grayish pattern and we can have it be fully patterned like so that's quite nice for the bedroom you're gonna have to copy this for the window though all underneath it And the sides. Go. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We like continue the trend of this floor because it is quite a nice floor. And it does put some more cohesion into this um, floor. Okay. So we're going to copy that molding. Uh oh, we can't this door. <laughs> Let's transform you. Let's put you a little bit. Can't do it. No grid snapping, please. Just slightly. So we can at least close the door. Can we please just close the door? Or asking. Okay, good. Let's copy that one. Let's put it right up there. We'll put one right there. Um, put it right there. Let's move you along on the grid, please. Thank you very much. Move you over there. Resize you. We can easily copy you for the other side of it. We'll do the same with this one. And we'll resize that one fully to the right. Okay, we copy that now. Over there. Resize that. Done. Looking good. I really like this wallpaper. It's not often that I will use it, probably. For the purposes of this room and this build, I think it suits quite well. So, the bed. We're going to need a tiny bed. Or well, just a single bed, really. Single bed. This one's quite nice and... Um, simple this one fits the room as well and there are styles that we want to explore with this I do quite like the one that we got very very simple mm. we might want to put some sort of dresser somewhere uh, these are cabinets we need to go to storage medium storage this one's quite good let's make it a little bit softer brown and that's the same as the floor we don't want it to be exactly the same we want to have it be sort of the same as the bed which is, which one is it? Is it a custom color one? It seems to be, which one is it? Is it the light wench? No. Which one are you? Wait, I know. Copy the style. Okay, so that is still a mystery to me, which one it is. Um, okay, it seems, maybe it's a damaged wood? No, it's not, but it has a pretty rough grain, it seems. The polished wood. The other one is stained beach that we did. Uh, let's make these. Ooh, let's make these bronze actually. So these are different, different grains. Now they match, but they don't match the bed. We need something a little bit warmer. So difficult to tell. 
This is still a different this one is better though, I feel. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now we can put definitely a lamp on it. Once again, slim pickings. Let's go with this one. Let's not put it in the same colour as the ones in the rest of the house. Let's put it this one. Right, and we can try and find a little standing decor. Um, have a little... I want to put some sort of figurine on it, but it's not really much to choose from. Is it logical to put a picture here? No. Is it for show? Definitely. No logic, just show. A vase in there. Now, what will we do with this room? We can't really put pillows in because we, we don't have loose pillows. We need loose pillows. If you're our devs, if you're watching this, which you're not, put pillows in. Please, cushions. I know I can um, sort of clip an ottoman through it. But I don't think I have the room for it for this one. Like, say I put these in and I put them all the way down they'll clip through like through the ceiling of the other room see uh if we put it snapping off I mean we got sort of a pillow I suppose I think that's actually pretty all right <laughs> I think I was making a fuzz from nothing. Um, maybe if we change just the colour. No, I don't like. What kind of pattern do we want for this one though? I like that one. And we'll need to change the colour of the bottom of it. Um, we can let's at least copy the style. And then we'll just change the pattern to another one. So it's similar, but not the same. It does look very odd in this room. I think we need to tie the blue in a little bit more. So let's try and find a nice blue. It's pretty good. Let's try and find slightly different blue for this one. I think that's nice. We can put a pot right in the corner there. Once again, pretty slim pickings. Uh, I really like this pot, but it's just too, too small. It's just too small. I like the ridges of it. It has something different than just this thing. Uh, but we can uh, give it a nice... Stone colour. It's still quite small. I think we actually need a bigger pot for this art. Well, maybe not that big. Something like that. Probably. Give it a nice stone texture. I love that one. It doesn't suit the room at all, but I love it. Can we find something that is it is a multicolor marble? I could maybe color this one to be. Yeah, it's gonna stain brown mostly. It's a base is brown. Try the grey marble. Quite oh, good, actually. Bluer. There we go. See if we can fit it more in the corner. We really can barely. Let's try out the spider plant. The spider plant's a bit too small. That one's too big. That's going to jut out too much as well. Let's try this snake plant. Mm, quite difficult to... Pick one for that space. Lavender. 
No. Maybe a fern. I have a slightly bigger fern. Oh, I'm not sure about this room. It does feel a little bit empty. I would love to have a canopy here. But we don't really have that canopy. We have candy. <laughs> Shall we put some candy on their dresser? We'll put some candy right there as a little, little detail. We do really need another picture. Or a mirror. Uh, maybe that's a bit weird above the bed. Well, and quite dangerous, you know, if you are a bit of a wild sleeper, you might kick it off. Let's just find a nice picture. We'll go with this one. Quite like. And we can put a nightlight above it, actually, I think. That is quite fun. We still needed a light anyway. Uh, general light. And we'll go with this one. Because it's quite cosy. Oh, no, not I want this one. Mm, I thought it would match better than it does. Something like that. We can make this... Oh, let's make it the same shade, actually. But it opens that way. And maybe we... No, we don't want to change that because that would... Get you in trouble with this door. Do you need to turn that around, though? Okay, um... Since that opens right there, we'll need our light switch to be right here. You can easily access it. Put you right there. Okay. Well, it's a bit simple. I really wouldn't know what else to do with it. We can still put a small carpet right here. Right by the foot of the bed, and not the foot, and the side of the bed, I mean. And we'll continue that trend of blue. Let's see if we add flowers to it. So with this pattern. We make the pattern smaller because it's quite quite big. <laughs> it's a little bit too big. Actually. Um did I pick? Which one did I try out? Right. So this one would be lighter colour. This one just needs to be a little bit more saturated, I think. Or does it need to be the other way around? Be this... Have this be the... Yeah, that's better, I suppose. A dark trim, the lighter outer thing. It just it's just too much blue, I think. Maybe if we uh, once again do that, a um, little bit greenish um, blue that we have over the other the other um, ottoman. That's this one, I think. Hmm. like this maybe an ochre trim that's better actually I think that's better quite a boring room actually I'll fan of this room um I think that'll just have to be it honestly now we have a really fun and difficult room to work with we have this bathroom. So let's first of all create some space by fixing these. Uh, it needs to be a little bit. Yeah, 
that. Now, this is another one that's misbehaving. Being all glitchy and stuff. We're going to have to ignore it. We'll ignore it. It's just not present. Not here. Can't hurt us. It doesn't exist. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, let's glitch through this actually a little bit. Okay. Now we can paint this side. Right. Um, oh god, this is something else. I think we need to match the angle a little bit better here. I think that's better. Um, but we can put in a pendant light right here. I think we can do that. Uh, we do need to match the other side of this roof to that. But we can make this a little ornamental thing. Right, and the rest of this, of this can be tiled. So before I tile it, I want to choose a dark green colour. Or the, um, the tub itself. Can I not change? Oh, I can. What can I not change the feet of it? Uh, but yeah, I think this dark, gray, uh, dark green colour would be quite nice. And I want to sort of centre the rest of this build around it. So let's check out our tiles. Um, once again, quite difficult to make a pick. But I have a bit of an idea. I want maybe a simple tile. Right, around that height. And I want one stripe to be black. With light grout. Like that. Ooh, that will mess with this window. So let's put it one lower, actually. Have this be a little bit of a detail. Have that go around like that. That. We pick the white again. Which apparently is going to have to be this height if you want to uh, accommodate the window. Uh, this will just be the black of the uh, roofing situation that we got going on. Otherwise that will look a little bit weird. Pick that again. Put that right there. Put it underneath there. That little corner. Barely visible. I've got to get all the details in. Right. Actually put the entirety of this wall in uh, tiles. Because I want to put just plain old stucco above it in the shade of the bathtub. That's my plan. That's what I think might look really cool. Let's try it out. And that does look kind of cool. I do want a bit of a more yellowish green. A bit more olive. So we're going to have to change the bathtub to match that. But I still quite like that. So that would be all of that. Paint it. I think that looks very, very, very cute. Okay. Now this also be green. 
Maybe we can try to put some molding on it. And let's first of all take the same tile, I think, for the floor. Have it be cohesive. But we can put a trim right here. That's a bit, that's one out too much, but it's fine. We'll fix it. Have a little bit of a trim here. And do we have that trim stop right here? Have this be just white. I think that's actually better. Okay, so we got that. I like that trim. Uh, we need to take that um, transition strip right here. Right, that's just marble, really. Okay, we got that. And now we take some moulding. Obviously, we put that up there. Let's go into sandbox mode. Well, we are in sandbox mode, obviously, but let's pick the sandbox moulding. Right, like that. Like that. We need to colour this small part. And we want that moulding over there as well. This should be a contractor's nightmare, this little nook. Honestly, how would you even go about this? <laughs> Putting moulding in all these different weird places. Um, I want a subtle trim in the colour white on the edge of this. Right, subtle trim. And I want it to go in there as well. So we're going to put two of those there. We'll transform it be in the right spot. Boop, boop. Oh, no, grid snapping, please. I need that. Boop, 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 boop. No, no more rotation. I want the arrow. Give me the arrow. There we go. Put the back one. Put it. No, that's rotation. Put it down. There we go. And put it down. Okay. Good. I wonder um, if we just put that one up. Does it look weird? No, actually, it looks quite fine. That looks all right. Good, 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 good. We did that. Now, more trim. We take the big one again. Put it right here. And we're going to make sure that it gets um, on the ceiling. So now it's currently floating like above it. We're going to turn it around. Have this trim right here. And I think that's quite a nice detail. Now let's put a nice pendant lamp right above it. Now let's see. We could try this one uh, with a uh, gold colour. It's not quite Victorian, but it is something a little bit more fancy. We've got that, which is lovely. And let's put our light switch in real quick. Uh, let's connect you up. Look at that. That looks cool. That looks cool as all hell. But now we just need a sink. Let's check the sinks out. Do you think we'll take a cabinet, like a counter, a kitchen counter? I don't know about the floating ones. They're not really 
suitable for this one. So cabinets, functional cabinets. Let's find one with a cool sink that would fit in a bathroom. What suits here. This one's quite nice. Oh, you can... Oh, you can change the tap, of course. And we'll just pick a cool cabinet. A cool looking cabinet. We don't have to worry about what the sink looks like. Incidentally, the more classical looking cabinets do absolutely have a classical looking faucet as well as one of their standards. So that's pretty good. Um, so it's either going to be this one, which has this little belly, uh, if I may call it that. Or this one. No, I don't like the sink of it. I do like it to be a bit rounded sink. Um, this one is possible. No, I'm going to go with the belly one. Oh, it could also be this one. This one's quite nice as well. Actually, I think I might prefer this one. So let's check out the styles that it has. I think we'll take this as a base. And of course, we're going to go for that beautiful olive green. Obviously. Oh, there we go. And we just need to put in the toilet and we're going to put that right next to it. But first, let's change the handle to something a bit more visible. Right, that fits it quite well. We're going to need to put in a mirror. And go a little bit fancy with it. Uh, right, that's it. That's right. I forgot about the fact that it will absolutely flip through it. <laughs> well, let's just go with ebony. Nice black mirror. Black framed mirror, not the awful series. There, the series isn't awful, but the content is. It's very disturbing. Anyway... That was um, trading off. You need to... No arrow, please. Scoot you along a little bit. Just a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. I don't like you clipping through that moulding. So we're going to have to do it like that. Okay. And we'll pick our toilet. I like this one. Not the colours, obviously. This might be good. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's go ahead and put some bathroom products in. We obviously need a toilet brush. Go with... One. Where do we put the loo roll? We put it on the cabinet. I think that could be a pretty good idea, actually. Make some space. Some more space. Oh, we can't put it on there. Well, we obviously can because we have magical powers. Oh, but we can't just put it on there. That's a shame. Let's make you gold, just like the other fixtures. Let's do some grid snapping to get as close as we can. No. Be nice. It floating. I can't tell. There's a giant blue. Yeah, it's floating. Sorry, there was a giant blue arrow floating through my vision. Good. Now we put a lure on it. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. We do need to add another light right there. I think this is a good match. Let's make the shade a bit cream. Right, I quite like that. Add that. And that is our bathroom. Oh, I'm quite fond of this. 
So let's do a little recap. Um, actually, that means the house is finished. So I'm going to do a grand tour, actually. Let's go ahead and look at the outside. Oh, look at that beautiful house. Did some gardening as well, some detailing. Quickly save before anything crashes. I'm scared to death to lose all of this progress. That is our Vic oh, that's our Victorian house. Look at that. I'm really proud of how this turned out. It was quite a challenge. It wasn't a style I was used to building. Um, but I did really enjoy building it. Um, so we go into here. We have this little nook right here. We go inside. This is honestly still my favourite room. I really love how this turned out. It looks beautiful. We have a reading nook right here. And then we have our dining room with our kitchen attached to it. Now we go over here, we have a tiny little toilet area. We have our living area, our living space, with a beautiful feature um, fireplace, which was a lot of, well, it wasn't a lot of hard work, but it was some manual labor because they are different, um, what's it called? Different pieces put together. Some lovely pictures right here and some plants. And we go upstairs. And we go to the left to our nursery right here, which I think turned out really, really cool, really different. And we have, you know, this trim. I really love how that turned out. I really love that that worked. That was a stupid idea and it just, just worked. Fun little painting. Um, then we have the bedroom, the master bedroom. Nice and cozy with some more gallery walls, some more pictures right here. Our walk-in closet with a nice big wardrobe and a dresser. Some nice views of the neighbor's pink party tent. And then we go through to the bathroom. I really love how this bathroom looks. It's very classy, very, very dark as well. It still fits the style of that gothic, dark academia, Victorian thingamajig. Whatever you want to call the style that, that we've gone with. Then we have the hallway, which is nothing special. It has a light. It's functional. You go up the stairs. Very dark, very spooky. And you go into the playroom, which is actually quite a lot nicer because of this light blue wallpaper. We have a little ottoman there. We have a little dresser with all the toys. Then we have a little, our little study with a sewing machine. We've got some plants, a bin for trash. We have a little reading chair right here and then we have our guest bedroom or a kids bedroom whatever you want to see it as view it as with some pillows some cushions to sit by the window and play with things this little rascal has some candy in his room in her room in their room and then we have this beautiful bathroom which is in a super super awkward space um but i love the idea of just sitting in the tub here Right, you're lying down, looking at the sky through this beautiful window. And you can sort of sit up and look at, once again, that beautiful pink party tent. Oh, sorry, I keep hammering up down on it. And um, I just really love this. I really love this little detail. I'm quite pleased I came up with that. Uh, let's actually finish that off. I didn't finish that properly. I love this detail, this little trim right here. Uh, there are some details on the ceiling as well. I'm just very pleased with how this turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures. Um, I'm only including it in the video. If you do want to know how you do this though, I've already made a couple of pictures for thumbnails. You have a camera um, function and you can see the moving cameras here and it chooses it. You can choose a certain angle and that will add it to your property like uh, right here we have a couple of pictures already so I'm going to add the last floor to it um, I'll add a little uh, slideshow of the end result and I want to thank you so much for watching for sticking by me with this wacky build I hope you enjoyed if you have any ideas for our next build do leave them in the comments um, tell me what you want to see you know I'm going to make my own plan sorry uh, but I'm very curious to see what you 
think, or what you would like to see. Maybe I'll get some inspiration from it. And just join me. Thank you once again. Um, love you all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.